Welcome, welcome to the Rose with Friends podcast. It's your boy J-Man uh, here again with the homie C-Rock. Uh, you want to tell them what's going on? What's cracking? What's cracking, peoples? Um, yeah, like and subscribe. Please get other people to like and subscribe. We need likes and subscriptions, y'all. Please, <laughs> I don't 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 make me beg every week, Will. Please, come on, y'all. And, and don't, don't do sexual begging. harassment. Yeah, no sexual, sexual harassment. No. <laughs> and then once again, uh, thank you to everybody that has <laughs> liked, right. and commented, subscribed, followed everything. Uh, we appreciate all the love. Uh, today we're going back. You know, as you can tell, me and C Rock are '90s kids, so doing another '90s episode, and we have a special guest with us today. A uh, good friend and three-time co-worker, ex-co-worker, current co-worker, uh, yeah. Bushy Boo. You what's up? Say what's up to everybody. Thanks for having me, of course. So yeah, what, what, three three jobs. What, what was the three jobs? What, uh, it's obviously the it. current one, Gasco, Wells Fargo? Yep. Okay, and then uh, Orkin. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> we just kept hooking each other up with jobs. Yeah, like, someone exactly. would leave or get fired. I'm like, hey, come work here. Okay. Uh, I left. Come work here. <laughs> exactly. What's so uh, thank you. Thank you for, hook or, you know, kind of had to do on my own, but uh, thank you for referring me to the current job I have now. Great, great company to work for. So appreciate that. Without that connection, probably wouldn't even be here. So thank you for that. For true. Um, man. Been friends with, Bush for almost almost two decades now. Sheesh. Man, I'm getting time. old. Yeah, <laughs> too old. You can pick up pick up my grays and my hair, dude. Like it's over. It looks good though. It looks good. Yeah, I guess. You Thanks. Like a, you look like you look like a senator. A senator. <laughs> oh. I thought you were gonna ask me for my vote. Or Get something. me out of here. Hey, <laughs> go ahead and like and subscribe for the people. All right. <laughs> you know, the, you appreciate sure it. You uh, got your support in November, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, whatever, Bush. <laughs> Just send me three dollars in the mail, okay? Yeah, you got my support. <laughs> All right, and then before we get started with our topics, I just want to go over a couple things. Uh, I wanted uh, C Rock's reaction to this. So uh, we're officially a month into our podcast. Uh, thanks again for everyone that's tuned in. Um, so just a quick rundown. We're at a total of, let's see if I can do some math, 51. So we're at 56 hours play. So people have listened to our podcast for a total of 56 hours. And we have a total of almost 700 views across all platforms, Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. So that's actually a lot more than I expected for our first month. So thanks, uh, everybody, for yeah. that. And then second update, uh, didn't really want to do this, but a couple of people hit me up about the uh, the big boy boundaries uh, episode we did, uh, give me some encouragement. Uh, so I'm going to do my weigh-in from last month to this month, just to let people know my progress, because a couple of people were curious and wanted to hear more. So uh, I lost eight pounds last month, so working That's on good. it. I went down from... 332 pounds to 324 pounds and down from 42% body fat to 40% body fat. So slowly, but surely. And I've lost a total of about 60 pounds since November of last year. So 60, 60. Mm. Yeah. That was almost, I was almost at 400. That's unheard of for yeah me, you so. know you you do look skinnier now that i was yeah dude congrats I that's a lot yeah, that's a lot yeah that's a healthy rate too yeah that's a healthy yeah rate. it's, it's, it's you know, more so of a lifestyle that's, change that's for good. me um instead of like doing the yo-yo diets where i was juicing for i don't know if you guys remember i've lost like 60 pounds twice and 80 pounds twice like over the time i've known you, both of you guys and the weight always came back so this time i'm just slowing it down uh, doing intermittent fasting every single day. And I kind of like for, I kind of eat health, like 100% healthy four days a week. And then the other three days, I kind of like, you know, kind of get my craving, but I just do portion control. And, you know, that medium where I still eat what I want and then eat healthy four days, eat kind of eat junk three days has allowed me to like kind of 
be more consistent and, you know, stick to this diet for nine months now. So appreciate the, appreciate the love. Uh, Hopefully this helps somebody else. And then lastly, before we get started, we have a comment of the day, which is from uh, my good friend, Rahi, uh, who says, this is our first post, by the way, Uh, (laughs) who the hell said this duo was legal? So me and C-Rock. Looking forward to the content on here. Let's go. So thank you very much for that comment. Uh, It might have been our very first comment. So just to kind of get some love off top before we really have any real content out was like really helpful. And then um, one thing about Rahi, I remember one of the times we were hanging out, she just randomly goes, Jay, I like you. And I was just like, oh, I appreciate that. I like you too. And she was just like, no, you don't understand. I don't like anybody. Like <laughs> you're like real cool to hang out with. And then she ended up meeting uh, Chris through me. She ended up liking Chris too. And so we're probably like two out of the the seven people, you know, she actually likes. <laughs> so shout out C-Rock for making that uh, prestigious list. And yeah. um, so with that, sorry for the delay, I guess. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. The first draft we have is going to be 90s crushes, and we're going to let uh, our guest Bush decide where he wants to pick first, either one, two, or three, and this will be a snake draft, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to take one. I'm greedy. I'm going to go and grab, and <laughs> I want to lock in my picks, you know? So do I, do I, do I go first? Uh, yeah. I'll go. I'll go second. Chris, okay. we'll go third. Then next time we'll mix it up. So, uh, all right, yeah, go ahead. And uh, whenever you're ready, Sir Bush. All right. Now, I didn't watch. I didn't watch her show. I I didn't even really realize that she had a show. I just saw her in a movie. I don't want to mention the movie yet. But I've always had the biggest crush on her. I thought she's the hottest thing. I still think she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take her with the number one pick. Let me let me know if you hear the sound. Did it come through? No. Dang. Okay. I, I, no time to test I got it. it. I heard oh, you got it. Okay. Well, I'm oh, taking. Damn. I'm taking Jennifer Love Hewitt as my number one pick. Not bad. She, Not bad. She, I gotta be honest. Uh, hit him. Hit me with it. Go ahead. <laughs> you gonna He's hit him hitting, with it? He's not hitting me with it. Nah, it froze. On my, <laughs> on my, my, um, my McDonald's I was, Wi-Fi. I was like, this suspense what, is killing me. What's going on? I know. I was happen? like, dude, he's going to let me have I, it. I, I don't know if I'm prepared. I don't know, but uh, I don't know who Jennifer Love who it is. So. Ooh. ooh uh, <laughs> Cat, uh, squeak. I've what? heard that name. I got to Google it. So I, gotta, I know what you did last summer. See. Okay. Mm-hmm. I do know who Jennifer Love who it is. Correction. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, good pick, good pick. I could heal it. Okay, I was I was expecting something worse on that one. Okay. Oh, all right, but you got to give him a little bit, a little bit of a spiel on, you know, why that's your pick. Because I mean, Chris so rudely cut you off and then said nothing. <laughs> hey, I, I was. <laughs> hey, I, was hey, I didn't say nothing. Hold on. No, no. <laughs> Maybe my she was just fun. so gorgeous. He just froze up. I get it. Oh, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. I mean, have you guys seen Can't Hardly Wait? Yes. Okay. She, they literally walk her in that room in slow mo, and they just pan to her, and that's where I first saw her. I I believe I saw her first before. Uh, I know what you did last summer, but they pan to her, and I'm just like, holy moly, holy schnikes! I don't, I'm trying to use ninety terms I'd use then. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> try, I'm trying to remember on the fly, but just seeing her there, and she was obviously the supposed to be the gorgeous one, the hot cheerleader there, the the main girl there. But after seeing her, dude, I was just like, hey. Like I, I don't want to choose any. I'm gonna go out and say this. I'm not choosing anyone from Baywatch. They're too, they're too old at the time. They were too fake. She mm-hmm. just seemed like the wholesome, sweet girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I had a chance. You know, I felt like I had a chance. <laughs> you you pick, forgot to pick. mention too. You forgot to mention too, Bush. I googled her. She got cheeks too. Shit. Oh, it's that kind of show. Oh yeah, the booba. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> can't deny got, that. Man, she got. I'm gonna use a '90s term. She got dumps like a truck. What? Up? That is '90s, right? Yeah, 90s was all about boobs, right? Like 80s was like legs or something. Yeah. 90s like, was yeah. definitely boobs. Boobs. And then ass yeah. is now the uh the main yeah. feature. Mm-hmm. Soon it's gonna be toes, you know. I didn't know she had assets, so yeah, you gotta, gotta you gotta Google that. Have to send, oh, yeah. uh, send that pick on over after this. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I, I got some yeah. my private collection. 
Yeah, hey. singing goods. <laughs> I'll sing goods. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so the plan. next pick. Go ahead, Ciroc. Yeah, she got she got cake plan. Sorry, I'm just I'm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Dan, you still on the cakes, huh? Yeah, yes. hitting him with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll go ahead and uh, take the next pick, and I had to take her first. Whew. This girl is definitely my first crush. Uh, man, I don't even know where to start. The voice, the face, the body. Oh man, the little the little clothes she had on, the little jean shorts, skirts. I got to go with the crazy, talented, and sexy Mariah Carey. Mm, mm. that whistle high note uh the fact that she got on so many remixes with so many amazing rappers uh jay-z jada kiss um bone thugs and harmony who else uh not rappers but you know she was on the track with boys to men uh jermaine dupree man uh Dipset. I forget if it was it was all a dipset or just like Jules Santana or Cameron, one of them. Man, I feel like I'm missing <laughs> like at least five or six more artists that she's collabed with. Yes. Uh, but off the top of my head, I just can't think of it. But um oh Mace, P. Diddy, uh the locks. <laughs> oh yeah, she um, did. That's right. <laughs> yeah, she was at that song, funny, the the honey song that she had bad boys on, Biggie. Uh, the Tories B.I.G. was actually supposed to be on that song, but obviously, you know, he got killed, uh, got shot yeah. right before they're going to record it. So they put uh, they did the Bad Boy remix with Mace and the Locks, which is still pretty good. I still like that song. So I'm writing this down. I haven't heard that song in ages. Listen oh, and Nas. Track. She has songs with Nas, too. Um, Man, who else was she big back? Oh, ODB, Old Dirty Bastard. That was one of the first like remixes uh with hip hop and like R and B like that, uh fantasy remix along with Mary J. Blige and Method Man. You know, those were like the two first, you know, crossing over of hip hop and R and B that just we still hear songs like that to this day, you know. Uh you in the two thousands, Ja Rule and Ashanti was doing it, and you know, we still got collapse right now. So man, right, Carrie. She got the she's, only, she got you got the only R&B diss song that's still a banger. <laughs> so, that I mean, song is good. <laughs> you know, you can't come back. Oh, yeah, not to one. mention her, her, like, second coming when she came out with We Belong Together and uh, what was the other one? Oh, man, I forget no, those songs. I know, I know the beat of the song. And, and yeah, I can hear it, but I can't think of the other yeah, one. It, this, the it came out, like, is. a month after We Belong Together. Um, oh, that's not the one I'm thinking of, but that one was a good one too. Na, 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 what you need? <laughs> yeah, I came to call. have a party. That's all I remember. Yeah. But there's another one. Oh, uh, don't forget about us. That's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah. That song is a slapper too. It was. It's kind of funny because it came out so close to "We Belong Together" that like that one gets slept on a little bit. But yeah. man. She probably had one of the very few that were, you were so hot in the 90s and then you came out of nowhere like in the mid 2000s and just came out with another classic that was on the radio for years like and so yeah Mariah Carey I got to get her off the board because Chris is about to get two in a row so I thought there's a good chance <laughs> you're gonna take her so it's on you C-Rock. All right so my first pick um Maybe a little bit of an oddball, but I remember just when I was young, like just seeing this girl and thinking that was probably the most beautiful girl I ever seen at the time, you know, fucking mm -hmm. that seven or eight year old me is just like was just <laughs> in love, like, and you know, she played like a side character, and I always just thought, hey, oh no, I think I know. I hope you're not taking you know, what I think like, you're taking. I'm I'm going with him, you know. I'm gonna just say I'm going with Michelle Thomas Thomas. Okay. AKA that's Myra not... Monk, aka Myra Monkhouse from Family Matters. I always thought she was oh, you know, she's she's yes, gorgeous. Yes. 
gorgeous Damn. dude like and you know, rest in peace by the way Oh uh, mm-hmm. man, I remember just being just stunned when she came on that show about how fat, how just fine she was, and just like man, Urkel should have should have showed her. <laughs> Hell yeah! Kick, I don't know what he was kick, thinking. I was gonna kick Laura <laughs> off the show. Like I love Laura. <laughs> Like man, she gotta go. Kick Laura off the show, like they kicked Judy off the show. Just no explanation. Just that bitch is just gone. Who's <laughs> Judy? There's no Judy. Hey, didn't y'all have yeah, a middle I mean, sister or something like that? Like, nah, we ain't nothing like nah, that, player. Nah, <laughs> you don't speak her. But yeah, that was. Uh, like I said, it's just you know she she played the part really well, and and everything, dude. But I just like I said, I just remember like being stunned. Which just how beautiful this girl was. So that's a great pick. So, she was a little further but, down on my list, but she was on my list too. That's like a super. I thought you were me. gonna say somebody else, so I better. Eh, I might let her, let her stay to the third round if she's still there. But it's, it's on you again, C Rock. Yeah, and if I freeze again, it's my nineties. It's my nineties. Uh, <laughs> um, Wi Fi. So, I don't know, you guys got me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, my my shit be freezing. You know, um, next pick is gonna be a little off the wall, but it's my my God. Hold on, I forgot her name. Terrible, terrible. They don't want you in the war room over, <laughs> over at the Niners, man. Oh, you oh, sorry, sorry. You got the... oh no, no, no. Um, you got to edit that out. Cut it, cut it, cut it, <laughs> cut it, cut it. Hell no, I'm keeping that. She's in. also, but she's also from the same <laughs> show. But I remember thinking she was too super fine too, and she was my crush. She played, she played what was it, Maxine, and she was from Punky Brewster. I'm gonna go with her name is Sherry Johnson. Mm-hmm. I, I remember, remember too. I remember her more from Punky Brewster, but like I can bring her into the '90s draft because she was also in Family Matters. Yeah, and that's so, fine. Because Punky Brewster was '80s as hell, but I remember like, yeah, four year old me having it, or five year old <laughs> me having <laughs> having a crush on her when you know. Especially, I remember I was staying home sick from school, and uh, yeah, Punky Brewster came on, and I remember the first time seeing her. So, yeah, so I'm gonna have to go, yeah, with my first two celebrity crushes. So that's what I'm going with. All right, not okay. bad, not bad. So the pick is back on me. It's your boy J Man with the second round pick, and this is a pick that I think there's a chance Bush might take. Uh, so I got to get her up out the way. And then on my next turn, I'm going to take who I thought Chris was going to take with the first pick, the way he was explaining it. And I hope Bush doesn't take the one I'm kind of s- trying to sneak. I, I don't I, think I he th- will. I think I know who you're going to say. But uh, all right. So with this pick, I got to go with Sama Hayek. <sighs> yeah. OK. Well, because she is still fine as hell to this day. From which work of you art much are you of... taking her from? <sighs> What'd you say? From which work of art are you taking her from in the 90s that you just said she was the best in or most beautiful in? Probably the, I, I take the more I, iconic, the Dust Till Dawn, you know? Yes. It's just more iconic. And then the outfit she had on, I'm not really a feet person. Like, what's his name? Uh, Quentin Tarantino. So <laughs> that scene doesn't move me that much, but the outfit she had on, damn. Imagine you, you create a film. You're like, guess what you got to do in my film? And I'm going to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> someone said if if uh, Quentin Tarantino was in like a huge director, he'd just be a, a racist and a, and a creep who has a foot fetish. I was like, damn, damn. That is true. He yeah. likes, he, li- he loves that N word, don't he? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't got nothing else to say about Sama Hayek. She's just fucking fine, and she's looked good for so many decades now, and she's still doing it, so I had to 
take someone who's timeless and uh, go ahead and uh, pass it back over to Boosh. Oh, man, she still looks great. Well, you stole my number two. Not very happy about that. <laughs> I feel like I, I got I to gotta lock up. You took my Latina, so I feel like I have to, like, jump someone up. I get two picks, right? Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, since we're on the Latina vibe, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move her up a bit since you took Selma, but I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go J Lo. I have to lock her in Great now. Pick. Great pick. Great pick. Her in right now. Although to be honest, I did. I don't like her singing, and she's kind of uh, had a lot of ghost writers, so I don't know if she can actually sing. Ghost singers too. I don't know if you know about that part. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't even know what she. Can, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if she can sing, but she looks good. That's why I didn't want to put her too high up. So if mm-hmm. we're just talking about just looks. Um. Cause I don't know. I don't know. I don't, is she like a good person? I feel, I feel like there's always some kind of drama with her in the news or something like that. I don't I know. Feel that, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, since you took Selma, I wasn't really going to pick JLo, but I got to kind of got a slider in there. Got to represent man. Latinas <laughs> two in a row. My Anaconda wants some. <laughs> Ooh, she was good. She looked good in that one. Yes, that was a... that was such a terribly good movie. It's not a good movie, yeah. but it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it's like it, it was so bad it went right back around the good. You yeah, know how bad it was. <laughs> it was so bad, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's so bad, but uh, I love it. If it's on, if it's on, I'm watching it. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if this one is on any of your guys' lists, but I'm gonna grab her up. Uh, Topanga from Boy Meets World. Oh, damn. Oh, it was? Okay. I was trying to get her on the way back. Okay, okay. Good. I'm going to wrap her in. Great pick. She... You know, she, she's a Karen, but... Is she? I, I don't know anything about her now. Yeah, they say she's a Karen on stage. Or, I mean, uh-huh. on, on the set. Dang. Well, that's why she's not number one or two. <laughs> that's why she's not so low. I think one of my friends actually knows of her. Like, he has a friend that has a friend that knows her or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Danielle Dang. official. Dang, she's a Karen now. But... But uh, she was so like she's so like I don't know how to explain it, like unique looking. And mm-hmm. She still has that whole like that sweetness and everything. And you know, as a kid watching Boy Meets World, I don't know. She just you just had an immediate crush on her. That's how I see it. Yeah. You just see her and you're just like, ah, she's just so sweet. I want to do the quirky personality. Things. Yeah, I want I want to like corrupt her. Yeah, like she's just too <laughs> nice. I'm gonna wrap her in. Man, yeah, she was on my list. I was I was aiming for her in the fourth round because I didn't I didn't that's not somebody I, I would think C Rock was gonna take. So I was gonna try to sneak that in the fourth, but my strategy is now foiled. Okay, I'm glad I at least, early I, at least I got Selma though. The war room is happy over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is the pick I thought Chris was alluding to, which kind of surprised me she was gonna go in the first round. Uh, but I gotta take her. Um Dion from Clueless. Oh, this is Stacy yes. Dash. I had Stacey it on my Dash. list. When uh when Chris started saying side character and the way he was alluding to it, I was like, fuck, he's about to take Stacy already. But uh damn, I'm glad he didn't, because I like this pick a little bit better than uh My- Myra, right? Was your first pick? Yeah. I like her a little bit better than Myra, and I definitely like her <laughs> better than your second pick. No, you know, <laughs> no yeah, offense, yeah. but uh <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> had to take yeah. her. She was just she just like she I don't know how to explain it. her face is just kind of like how Bush was explaining to Penguin. She just has a unique look. Like she just looks yeah. different than, you know, most girls, yeah. I guess. So I just really like her look. And and the outfit. I was are forced. <laughs> oh yeah, I was forced to watch Clueless as a kid. So uh my niece would always be watching it. So I ended up watching it all the time. And the people started telling me I look like the the dude on there. The dude that was also in Scrubs, I forget his name. What the hell? What the hell is that dude's name? Um, well, anyway, he everyone just told me I look like him, and I was like, I don't care. I get, I get Dion from Clueless then. But um, mm-hmm. so yeah, I got to take Stacey Dash off off the board, even though she's been known to say some wild shit over the last few years. I was gonna and say, she, and yeah. she posed for Playboy too. So Ooh. yeah, so there's some stuff out there, y'all. If you wanna, you know. <laughs> Get a little closer look before OnlyFans is out, stuff like that. And she, um, and she's that shit fucking crazy. Yeah, she's she's, she's way right, way yeah, out there. Like way out there, right? Yeah, like, yeah but I, that ass yeah. is also right. So yeah, <laughs> you deal gotta, with it. Gotta deal with it. 
Yeah, a lot of a lot of hegemonic masculinity in there. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, what do you expect yeah. with the '90s crushes draft, man? Yeah, uh, I, I didn't sorry, know anything about sorry, politics ladies. or nothing. I'm sorry, ladies, but um, I was like seven. So, so now that I got uh, my sisters, a couple of sisters off the board, got to go with um my, my first Latina pick, and our just same deal. I remember seeing this girl just being blown away. And I actually, I didn't see her in person, but she performed at my job. And she still looked gorgeous. Okay. Still, I'm going with uh, Christina Aguilera off the board. I, I didn't guess. even know she was Latina. That's crazy. Aguilera? I didn't know. I she mean, looks <laughs> she looks white to me. <laughs> I mean, been. she's a white Latin. She's a white Latina, definitely. She's a Spaniard, but... I, I never knew that. I thought maybe it was her grandpa or something. She had maybe like a quarter or something at the most. That's what I thought. It's how, it, it could be. I got. I got to run the. Um, the you know, ancestry twenty three. Twenty three. I think she's Ecuadorian. I think she has. She's like Ecuadorian or something like that. Yeah, that yeah. bitch can sing. Good sang. God, mm. yeah. she can sing her ass off. Yeah, probably. Yeah, out of that that era. The out of that era. The um. The female artists, you know, the little stupid boy band and, you know, the whole, you know, what's her name? Britney Spears and all that. She had the mm-hmm. best voice. She definitely. Um, I agree. Like I said, I remember seeing Jeannie in the bottle and just being uh, like, good God, that girl is hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so I had, to, I had to take her off the board. I don't think she probably was on anybody's list. So. But uh, she don't no. mind. I love you, Christine. <laughs> shout out shout out guys, he's a listener yeah hopefully like it subscribe anyway <laughs> you know. oh so i get another one yep okay so this one um i'm gonna go with, i'm gonna take this one off the board surprise it fell this one i'm gonna have to go with this um this white woman dr umar just gonna have to be mad but uh from an iconic show with an iconic cast of characters that we love. And um, one of them passed away. I'm trying to allude to it before I go to it. You know, one of them passed away, the dork. Who oh, Tiffany Anderson? Th- T- Tiffany Anderson Thiessen or whatever? Mm-hmm. Kelly Thiessen. Kapowski. Kelly Kapowski, yes. That was uh, Great my first crush. Wasn't mine. She, she was on my but, white girl list. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fine ass white woman. Almost yeah, as fine as Topanga. Almost as fine as Topanga, but but that's, that's you know, like yeah. I said, Doctor Umar, he just got to be mad, my, you know. <laughs> he just, you should um edit that in. You edit him just looking really mad. <laughs> <laughs> that should that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to save two clips of him because I'm I'm picking a white girl too, so I got to get one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So go ahead. <laughs> All right, uh, so with my pick, again, I got to attempt to snipe uh, Bush. Uh, I got to go with the classic, timeless, and I actually love this show on the Disney Channel. Lizzie McGuire, a.k.a. Hillary mm-hmm. Duff, with the dump truck. I never watched the uh, show. Okay, so uh, the reason I got to go with uh, Hillary is because she just seems like a really good, genuine person. Um, And like every once in a while, somebody will take a candid picture of her and it's like her big old booty sticking out and it looks glorious. And I'm like, man, I was never watching uh, Lizzie McGuire for that. But now that I'm older, you know, definitely paying attention. And uh, like I said, I got to get one of the white girls off the board. So I had to go with Hillary. (laughs) <laughs> and with that it's all back to bush and these are his last two picks hey you guys have like white girl lists i, I, I do i need like a black girl on my list he already took mine i had stacy dash on there hey. <laughs> whatever you want it's your list but hey, your hey. list play I, I just i love diversity so <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, God, God i like having options on this planet you put all these women on your planet for a reason you gotta enjoy all of them bro. Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> Dash coming off my list makes my my five pick now interesting, but I'll get to that. I think uh, for my number four pick, thought about this one 
It was, it was a debate between a couple of them, but I'm going to have to go with Josie Sweeten from Full House. I forgot her, what her name was in the character. She was the uh, middle child in the show. Okay. okay. Was she it Stephanie? Ha- Stephanie, yes. Stephanie, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 She's probably think, my favorite was, one too. She got she got fine at finer as she got older because when Fuller House came on, I was like, God damn. Yes. Like, <laughs> she had the she, same issues as Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> I guess you'd call them issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You said when Fuller House came on. Full, Fuller. <laughs> <laughs> she filled up that house nicely, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but hey, yeah. yeah, my my, my when she came on screen the first time, my pants got fuller. I can tell you that. So, you know? <laughs> we, can just, we just keep going with this, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I was like, I just kidding. Like, what the hell kind of Netflix show is this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, she, I, she, 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 she definitely, yeah. she uh, filled in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord. She got titties, too? No, yeah. AKA, does she have a full blouse? <laughs> Jay, you're gonna have to do some googling after this, for sure. Definitely. But yeah, this all was right. before that. I mean, I was a kid, but that was one of the shows I watched. I watched Full House all the time, and uh, she and she was just like, I don't know, she was like the best character on the show. Michelle was too young. I wasn't into like, like mm-hmm. I wasn't into the older siblings. Like I'm a Luigi guy, not a Mario guy. You know, I like Stephanie. I didn't like uh, got the older one's name. You know, I don't know. I guess it was just more like the. The middle child, younger child thing, and I liked it. I was like, "Yeah, we have something in common." Yeah, yeah, she's, like she's my favorite too. All right, now, okay. all right, number number five. Now, remember, this is coming from a child mindset. I put I put the small brain back in back in my head here. You know, the nine, <laughs> ten year old me, whatever. You know, you, you you see some shows and you're like, "She's she's cute." You know what I'm saying? And this is a cartoon. Now, remember, okay, we're we're, we're children here. No judgment here. No judgment. Yeah, yeah. perfectly fine. So I'm going to have to lock up my last pick with Gadget from Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Hey, I ain't going to lie. You know, I had a crush on her, too. Right? No, I, she, I don't know. I she's the only lie. female. And she just, she was just, like, perfectly fit. She was smart. She was mm-hmm. courageous. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, man. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad I kinda, at it. Had, like, a, I guess you could say a crush on Gadget. Probably Rule 42 out there. Maybe, maybe we'll take a look at that sometime. I have to because I have no idea what that is. Rule <laughs> rule 42. I don't know what the definition is, but it basically means if it's animated, there's a porn of it. Ah. Yeah. If it's animated, it's a, someone it's made a, a porn rule. of it. Yeah. So it's called rule 42. <laughs> so you type in an animated character and you can put Goku rule 42 and it's going to come up. Anything. Any cartoon rule 42. All right. I'm definitely tagging this on this post. I think that's the, the number. This episode. Episode the number. Yeah. <laughs> I will have to get back to me on the number. We'll get that edited. <laughs> 34, 34. It's 34. Rule 34. All right. Rule 34. I messed it up. There you go. Rule 34. All right. Scratch 42. It's rule 34, y'all. Yeah. 42 might be something way worse. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So before I pick my actual pick, I got to you know just not to leave Bush out hanging to dry. I had a crush on Princess Jasmine. And I also had a crush on Lola Bunny from Space Jam. Oh, yeah. So, and I mean, everyone, of course, uh, Rebecca Rabbit. So those were my three. But uh, that's those are my picks. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure Bush wasn't out there by himself crushing on cartoon characters. Respect, respect. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So with my final pick, I actually cannot believe she is still here, y'all. I thought for sure when you guys were going to take her. Actually, the reason I didn't take her last round was because I needed to get a white girl I really wanted on my team. So I actually have this person ranked higher than Hillary. And got to go at Halle Berry, man. What's going on? Oh, I didn't even think about her at all. Halle Berry, she was a... Uh, what movie was that with Hugh Jack? Not X-Men, obviously. Hugh Jackman, where she like oh, just puts the newspaper movie? down Swordfish. and... Her- Swordfish, you know, we got to see her titties in Swordfish. A few years later, she was getting smashed by Billy Bob Thornton in Monsters Ball. And I've probably seen that scene at least 17 times. Only seen the movie once. So, you know, do the math. Uh, Halle Berry, she seems a little crazy, but she seems like the good kind of crazy. The kind that 
keep you on your toes and, you know, make sure you have a good time. And, uh, man, what a pick for my last pick. I'm really happy with this one. So took took a gamble twice and got the, got the girl I wanted. So very happy Solid. with my list. And then uh, the last pick in the draft is on you, C-Rock. All right. This is my last pick. So I'm going with somebody who's probably on nobody's list, but she was the shiznizzle <laughs> in early, late 80s, early 90s um, from a spinoff, a spinoff of a very popular show starring a rapist. You know. <laughs> I'm trying to allude to the show. Everybody get it? Um, mm-hmm. I am. Co- college show. You know. Starring Kadeem, Hard- Starring Kadeem Hardison. Come on now. No idea. Hey, man, I'm about to pull your black card if you don't get this. Oh, you might have to pull it because I have no idea you're talking about. Starring, Starring Kadeem Hardison. Mm-hmm. Or I go with Jasmine Guy from A Different World. I, you know, I probably have to see her picture, but I, I, I'm familiar yeah. with the show. I just, I didn't watch it when I was a kid. That, that was some fine, light-skinned black woman right there. But that was, that was, like I said, she was the it girl. She was everywhere. I still remember the episode to where her and uh, Kadeem Hardison character broke up and she was getting married to somebody else and he ran. Oh, and he came yeah. in like and yelling at her and pointing at her in the middle yeah. of the wedding. Okay, he's I know like, what you're oh, talking about. I mean, right before he interrupted, right before they said I do, he was like, I do. And he was like, you know, do you take me to man? He's like, baby, please. And I was like, Yeah, yeah I did the same. I would have did the same thing for her. I'd been like, I'd interrupted the wedding and I'd have risked that one. And she went that back scene, with another good That scene moment. is such a classic. That's still a good scene to watch to this day. Like that, yeah. god damn, they was acting like that in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Excellent that scene. Was, that was so believable, like you know, like they were like an actual character, <clears throat> like actual couple and shit. So I remember that. I have an honorary pick. I have an honorary pick. Go ahead. Not on the actual list, but somebody I want to bring up who also I think a lot of us might have forgotten. Or Ready for definitely it. forgot. Um, my Wi-Fi again. I was still talking that whole time. You guys, hear me? <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, my honorary pick. Uh, I cannot pronounce her name, but remember that show, My Brother and Me, on. Um, oh, that's a good one. The sister. sister. Yeah, man. Great pick. Uh, Osling's sister or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that last <laughs> name. Them niggas have some weird. Wasn't one of them niggas uh, names Goo? Yeah, Goo. <laughs> they had some weird ass fucking names on that show. She got yeah, dude. She is still fine. She got a. She, I'm looking at her Instagram right now. She is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man. She is, she is still gorgeous player. So I, I didn't put her on the list, but that that's my minority pick. I remember Do you have any other ones? Season two. Any season other honorary two picks? That's my only one. And I think I remember that show, My Brother and Me. I feel like. We watched that show for years, but somebody told me there's only ep- eight episodes of that show. I don't know if it's true or not. I never Googled it. It felt like they I had mean, two or three seasons. Like, season. what? There's only eight episodes of that show? Eight. We really they, sat um, there for two or three years and watched eight episodes over and over. <laughs> yeah, I forgot why they never picked up a second season. Something happened. I can Google it real <clears> quick. Uh, we 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 take that. We're talking about All right. That. Uh, Bush, you have any... Honorable mentions while Chris is Googling. Let's see. Um, I thought maybe someone would pick uh, Kimberly from the Power Rangers. The Pink She's Ranger. on my list. That was yeah. my backup white girl. <laughs> I was saying, well, I, I thought it should be on someone's list. Um, I would probably say Christina Applegate, even though I did, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't watch her show in the nineties, Married with Children, until like later when I got older. That's why I didn't really pick her, but Christina Applegate. Gorgeous. Um, and I had Heidi from Home Improvement on my list. I did watch that show, but I don't remember any of the girls from that show. It was like uh because they had a show within a show. It was like tool time. She was like mm-hmm. their she was like their assistant. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I kinda I kind of have her in my head now. I, I think I remember. 
Yeah, I think it was two women. Like she, there was, I think Pamela Anderson was like for there for the first two seasons, and then Heidi was mm-hmm. a different one for the yeah. rest. I think. I remember Heidi. I yeah, that's a good honorary pick. Yeah. Great. Okay, and I got then... the I got the answer. Okay, go ahead. Um, just basically due to disagreements by the writers, the producers, and the show creators, they never resolved it, and it never got <laughs> picked up again. And there were thirteen mm-hmm. episodes not eight so oh, okay that makes me feel a little better <laughs> yeah we watched 13 episodes for like two years over and <laughs> over damn that is insane as kids we were so easily entertained because i never even realized that <laughs> and then uh <laughs> i have two honorary picks everything else i had i had a list of like 10 13 and you guys picked all of them so my two honorary picks was uh actually three um alia uh oh, lisa left yeah. eye lopez and Janet Jackson. And you then like, out of the three, you like the left eye the most? Yeah. I love her voice is just so unique and the way she raps. She's fucking crazy. She burned down a nigga's house. <laughs> like she's such a talented artist. And I don't know, just her style, her voice. It sounds kind of cartoonish, but like gangster at the same time. I don't know how to explain. She just has a really unique voice. Always had a crush on Lisa Left Eye Lopez. And then um yeah, Topanga was was my f- number one white girl. Then Hillary Duff, then Amy Joe Johnson, the Pink Ranger. So I was like, I gotta get one of these three. And I'm glad I got my second one. So uh that is a wrap man. That was pretty fun. I actually went a little quicker than I thought. Uh, so I guess just a smidget of hegemonic masculinity, uh, not a, not the whole thing, like on the other episode. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> All right. we did do that, man. <laughs> we did good, we did good. Yeah. All right, guys. And, uh, hey, hey. Again, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Oh, we got, we got one more. We got one more, Chris. No, no, no. I oh, I thought, you, I thought you was trying to close it down, man. Like and subscribe yeah. anyway, you know? Yeah, my like bad, my bad. Now. Yeah, like and subscribe, y'all. Uh, we gonna do. I, I thought we were gonna do it another episode. We do another draft. Yeah. All right, edit that edit. out. Anyway, clap. you gotta <laughs> clap. Now I'm leaving it in. <laughs> let them let them giggle at us and our mistakes. Little blooper, bleeper of a bloop. It's all right. Yeah. All right, you want to bring in the I next draft, we C Rock? So the draft, the draft. The next draft is <laughs> um, '90s. Uh, theme song, like TV show theme song. Yep. Because I got to wing this one, so there's no list on me. But uh, I only thought about the, I only thought about the girls. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hegemonic <laughs> masculinity, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Back bring it back. It. Bring it in this one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna freeze right there. Right there. Intro to the show. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh hold on. man, that's good. Hey, let me pause it real quick. I'm gonna try to figure this out. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Let me pause. Hold on. All right. Hegemonic masculinity, y'all. All right. <laughs> welcome to the um <laughs> welcome to the uh second Roast with Friends draft. You know, I got my man J Man J with me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we got our guest, special guest, Chris Bushy Boo. What's up? What's up? Bush. Back again. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this draft is 90. Oh, hold on. Hold on real quick before we get into it. Uh, I almost forgot. Uh, follow Bushy Boo on YouTube, Twitch. Uh, he streams sometimes. Uh, has a lot of video game clips doing his thing. Uh, he's really good. I've played with him several times. Carried me more than one occasion. So give him a follow, like, subscribe. You know, you appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna. I I retired from Twitch, but I am. I'm focusing on YouTube. So yeah, YouTube. Okay. My bad, y'all. Just YouTube, y'all. Just couldn't do it, man. Just couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. My bad. Right. See, Rock. Go ahead, play. Oh, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Um. So yeah, we doing a uh, '90s theme music for theme songs. Not that theme music. Theme songs. So uh, yeah, Bush, you the guest. So we are gonna give you a pick again. So let's get this one started. All right. Well, Where would you like to go, brother? I have to go first because I guarantee this is going to be number one on everyone's list. There's 
There's not one single person in America, maybe planet Earth, that doesn't know the theme song to this. I'm pretty sure Jay knows. He knows what I'm picking. <laughs> pretty sure you know what I'm picking. Everyone can yes. sing it. Everyone knows the cast in there. Everyone knows the rap. Everyone knows mm. the show. Everyone watched it. Jay, mm-hmm. you know what it is. Go ahead, just say it. Just say it for me, Jay. You know what it is. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes, sir. That's, <laughs> that's that's number one, man. That's I swear. I everyone must know that the theme song to that. Everybody. Yeah. You you right. ain't lying. That, you gotta, one. You gotta do the <laughs> theme, song? theme song ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you chant okay, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now this is a story all about how my life got twist. Wait, no. My life Some got turn. flipped, turned upside down, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it took a minute, just sit right there, play how it became the prince of a town called Bel Air. This is harder when I'm trying to remember, when I'm under <laughs> pressure. <laughs> in West Philadelphia, <laughs> bone and rain. Do I have to do the whole thing? <laughs> no. As much as you want. And I play ground where I spent most of my days chilling out, relaxing, maxing all cool, and shooting some yeah. ball outside of my school when a couple of guys up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. Got in one little fight. Mama got scared. Said you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Mm-hmm. Now, do you know the part where they're in the plane that they cut it out? I do. Oh, okay, go hit me. Part. Do it. Do it. Hit me with it. Oh, I, I don't it. know it. But oh, okay. But you know, there's more to it than they cut about out. about sipping orange juice yeah. on a plane. Yeah. I don't know it personally. Like, sipping orange juice out of a champagne glass. That's the only line yes. I remember. <laughs> But yeah, every, I mean, basically everyone knows at least knows at least a verse, <clears throat> a chorus of it apart. Everybody in the world, if you don't know it, I don't know. You lived under a rock at that time, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Great pick, great pick. Oh, yeah. Easy pick, easy. Pick. One of the one of the shows that's loved by all cultures. So uh, a powerful one right there. The best. Like even though, like uh, in the black community, a lot of people think Martin is better and Martin is funnier. Uh, throughout you know every everyone else they're all cultures it's it's fresh print so yeah. it's a powerful show yeah definitely and then uh right. i'll give it to you c rock since i went second last time all right i'm gonna go with probably i have to say this is this could be first or this could be second on a lot of people's list because i don't know how you anybody does better than fresh prince of bel-air but we're gonna mm-hmm. go with another iconic TGIF. I said another like Fresh Prince on TGIF, but we're gonna go with TGIF. I'm gonna go with the Family Matters theme song. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with this, that because it always it always made me happy because you know it was Friday <laughs> and, and you know <laughs> did you, you, you did had you, did you, yeah I was yeah, that intro <laughs> like <laughs> who came <laughs> over that off. intro like hey man like I need seven <laughs> niggas to come in the booth and sneeze at the same time. They were about to start. <laughs> They were about to start to do the drummer sneeze. Like, hold on, hold on. Keep that, keep that. Put no repeat. <laughs> I, I always pictured a piano it. player like asleep and then he sneezes and wakes up and just starts. <laughs> hey, we keeping that, man. And that shit was fire. Man, what a way to start a fucking theme song. It's just a random yeah. ass noise on repeat. <laughs> Great so, thing. Uh, Are you, you gotta do the theme song. Go, you gonna bring me in with it's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. The loving tradition of the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, there must be some simple truth inside these oh, simple it. words. Oh, he's hitting it. That's all I'm doing. That's all I got to do. I keep going. It's be the whole episode me singing this shit. Days go by. It's a little time in the family. <laughs> that was, oh, man. That brings back so many memories when you hear that. Just, oh, man. What a time to be alive, bro. That was awesome, idea. awesome high notes there, C Rock. Thank Gotta you. Give I've been practicing flowers for that. Moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> All right. All right, DJ Man, it's on you. All right, so I got two back to back. Which one is easier to sing first? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> you gotta bring that into the 
Yeah, I gotta I gotta think of which one's easier since I get to uh all right, so I gotta go with Pokemon, man. Pokemon. That song got you so fucking hyped for that TV show. Um, I heard the dude that sings it is actually a ba- was a background sing- singer for Michael Jackson. So that's a pretty fun fact. And then not only that, Pokemon was such an amazing game to play. Um, I still play the newer Pokemons. I haven't played every single series of it, you know, since Game Boy, but probably played five or six different series of the game. The game was fun. Um, also, I could tell this side story about when me and C-Rock were in high school. We weren't that close, like, in the beginning of high school, like, our first, it was, like, I think his senior year and my junior year when we, like, started to become, like, really close, but when I was a sophomore and he was a junior, we had the same history class together before we were, like, really Good. cool, and uh, <laughs> this nigga Chris was playing Pokemon in uh, in the classroom while we were watching a movie, and if I remember correctly, he was playing the third gym leader. This is, man, this is how much I love that game. And the third gym leader was the one that had the electric type Pokemon. Ironically, he was going up against Pikachu, the most popular Pokemon. And what Chris didn't know is when um, when Pikachu used his quick attack, <laughs> he gets two attacks in a row. So, like, Chris is going uh, one-on-one. He's, he got his Charmeleon against Pikachu like and that's all they had left just one-on-one and Chris is like cool he's one more hit left and Chris is ready to attack it's like Pikachu uses quick attack <laughs> <laughs> and comes in and rocks Chris's Charmeleon and Chris just threw his Game Boy across the class and why the fuck does he get two turns in a row <laughs> and the whole classroom <laughs> just like turns around to look at Chris and the teacher I don't know why the teacher was like out of control he's like you're out of here pal get out of this classroom <laughs> right now like it was like was it really that serious like but man that was yeah. one of the most that's one of my favorite c-rock memories and this was before we were even like really close friends so had to shout yeah, out that story you know it's a good game when you get kicked out of class or <laughs> like I, I totally was lost in the moment like, like i totally was just like i could not beat that gym leader and like i was totally <laughs> lost like just like okay and just forgot where i was at like it was it was just it was it was so, <laughs> it was funny but yet embarrassing because it's like i was <laughs> just so lost but yeah oh was, and then uh funny. a quick fun fact i don't know if c-rock is going to remember this do you remember what you named your charmeleon crusty nuts Crusty nuts. <laughs> let me tell you how innocent and like wholesome I was back in the day. So when he told me that his Charmeleon's name was Crusty Nuts, I didn't even laugh that for at first because I was just like, oh, is that like do you think like when he blows fire, like you know, sometimes somehow it gets on his genitalia and you know he has crusty balls or something like that? Like and Chris was like, Oh, it's just a fucking stupid ass name, Crusty Nuts. <laughs> I was like, oh. So I was a big old, big old nerd back in the day. It took me a while to grow into this type of sense of humor. So just a little fun fact. And then, um, yeah, so Pokemon and, uh, man, uh, does any either one of you know when to do the Pokemon? Gotta catch them all. Either of you guys know exactly lyrics. when to do that part? I want to say yes, but I feel like I have to hear the music. I'm not confident okay. enough. <clears throat> well, I'll, I'll go like this. When I go like this, I need a Pokemon, gotta catch them all. And then I'll right. do the part, and then I'll go like this again. And then Pokemon, gotta catch So I need someone on the chorus yeah. so I can do the. All right, you guys got best. that part? As guests, okay. I'm gonna it, try it's fine. My best. We'll figure it out. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Let me get into my bag for this. <clears throat> He's been waiting for this. Want to be <laughs> the very best, like no one ever was. Dun, jam, 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 jam. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. Dun, 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 dun. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. Dun, dun, dun. These Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. The hustle true. Our chorus will pull us through. <laughs> you you teach, teach me, me and I'll, I'll teach, teach you. you. Yeah, okay, I remember now. Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, 
God, I, <laughs> I feel like he did that shit really good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like, damn, dude, what a time to be alive, bro. That song got <laughs> me so fucking hyped. So hyped. Yeah, man. All right. Shit. And then with my second pick, like I said, these two, I think actually Pokemon is my favorite one out of the two, but this is right up there with it. And I got to go with the timeless classic DuckTales. Yes. Yes. This one, <laughs> man, Launchpad, uh, Louie, Dewey, and Huey, uh, Grumpy Ass, Scrooge mm-hmm. McDuck. And I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know why, but like uh, Donald Duck had like a couple cameos on the show. He came around every mm-hmm. once in a while. And I love though, I love seeing Donald Duck on those. Um, yes, my duck. It's all I can remember, but man, what a classic show. Scrooge McDuck swimming through his own coins. You know, it's still a meme that's used to this day. Mm-hmm. And um, unfortunately, I don't think I know this one by heart. So I'm going to pull up the lyrics. Life is like a hurricane. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know, like the first verse, but I, I think there's a second verse. Yeah, here in dark world, you guys are still in my might thunder. solve a mystery or rewrite history. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Stop taking my thunder. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> you got us hyped up. You get, you get, you get, All right. you get started. I got, I got the lyrics, y'all. <laughs> All right, don't boom boom bam boom ba don't banana life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a duck blur. My solve a mystery, ba da da a rewrite history. Duck tales. Woo! Every day they're out there making ducktails. Woo! Doom, doom, doom. Tales of daring, bad, and good luck tales. The danger lurks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. What to do? Just grab a to some ducktails. This guy can hold a note. This ain't fair. This guy can hold notes. Every I didn't sign day up for this. they're out there making duck tails. Ooh. Not <laughs> pony tails or cotton tails. No duck tails. Woo. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they say there. I didn't know what they said there. I had to bring up the lyrics. Oh. So duck tails and Pokemon. And uh, back on UC Rock. Man. Cross this out. Took mine. I got, I got one. I just can't sing it. I can't. I can't. I see. I already sort of alluded to what the show was. I can't sing it because I can't catch the beat right now. Boom boom uh, boom 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 boom. boom. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> Tailspin. I love the theme song. I'm pulling and, up the uh, lyrics. Da 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we are friends for life for through thick and thin. Another like, tale. I can't, like, I can't remember like the words. It's because it's like it. talking in the front. It's like a guy laughing. <laughs> uh-huh. I just remember. I remember. I really liked the show. My favorite character was Louie. Yes, the bartender. Yeah, Louie was, was dope. That was my my favorite show, but I, I did love the theme song. I just cannot fucking catch it. So maybe I have to choose something else that I have to spin or spin, let's sing. Um, see, Bush already took my favorite show of the goddamn 90s. <laughs> I mean, it, it had to. I had to. With, I knew it was uh, like that. That, yeah. Uh, But let's just say tailspin. We won't sing this one though, y'all. We'll save you from that one. I'll sing the next one definitely. <laughs> the show. I don't I can't hear it either. Yeah, like I I don't know why. Tailspin. It just no, it just starts. You know, I think it just starts. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Friends mm-hmm. through life through thick and thin thick and with thin. another tailspin. No, no... Oh, we oh, okay. get tailspin. Oh, now I got it. Oh, we oh, oh tailspin. tailspin. Okay, I remember it now. Yeah, like I just can't remember words to it. Oh, we oh. Oh, we oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I remember that. And then, now. like, the rap part, <laughs> spin it, spin it, spin it, and then something, so, I don't know, I don't know that part. That was great, yeah, <laughs> that was good that's, enough. That's fine, it's, it's good one, enough. Next one, next one, we, you know, it was hard going after J Man with that, uh, with that, uh, DuckTales and. Pokemon that he did. So yeah, it's hard. It's high. hard. <laughs> See <laughs> those two back to back. Put the bar kind of high on those, but all right. So on you, Bushy Boo. You know, I'm. I was. I was. I was thinking I could get my number two, like by you guys, and I'm glad I did. I'm gonna go ahead and snatch it up here. Doesn't have lyrics, but I'm gonna go with the Simpsons classic, Ooh. classic theme song. Okay. I mean, yeah. there's no lyrics, but you pretty much can hum mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I mean that was the show of the na- the cartoon show. Yeah, like I mean, everyone knows that song, uh-huh. and it it's still on, and it's still on. It may not <laughs> That's be as insane. good. Yeah, I can't believe that show's still on because I literally don't know one person that watches it, but somebody's watching it apparently. Same. You know, I turned <laughs> it on once, and uh, Marge's voice was like different, and I read oh, it's wow. just it's the same person. It's just they're older now. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Like. I, need to, I think they should hang that show up by now. You know, a uh, little side note. You know, um, it was meant to end with the Simpsons movie. That was mm, their original know. intent was to end it with that movie, but it, something happened and they didn't. Money. And, I like, I didn't that. I, <laughs> and they actually did a final episode, like after that too. That was meant to be its final episode, but then the show just kept going. So mm. It was. Um, I forget, the, I forget the name of the episode. Sorry, I said I should look that up before, but yeah. But it's still going, y'all. Watch the Simpsons on whatever channel it's on. <laughs> like, I don't know anymore. I think it would be a huge like television event if they're like, all right, this is the last episode. Everyone would come back, see what yeah. happens. Definitely. I didn't know that. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah, same. I didn't yeah. know that either. I saw the movie. I can see why that would end it. I mean, like, Bomb was gonna drop on a city and everything, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, it should have ended. It should have. It should have ended around there. Yeah, it had jumped a shark long before that. Oh well. Well, at least we got a Family Guy crossover by then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so as soon as you said TJF, I moved this one up because I gotta grab my TJF off the board, and that's Full House. Yeah, full house it has to be full house. You guys know the yeah. lyrics of full house? I feel like everyone does. Oh man, I probably yeah. would if I start hearing it. So I'll, I'll I'll do background vocals if I remember. What is okay? How does that start? Is it a guitar? Oh no, it's yeah. it's a chorus. Oh god, so I'm freezing. Starts up. off with just the lyrics. It's people it like singing, right? Ah, uh, it's like yeah. Yeah. Everywhere you look. Okay, I remember that part. There's a heart, oh, no. there's a heart. Somebody oh, yes, that's the chorus. It starts with whatever happened to what predictability. Happened predictability. Yeah. Ooh, that's a bar right there. The paper <laughs> Evening TV. <laughs> and yeah. then uh, familiar face. Walking waiting around the bend. The yeah, there you go. And then everywhere, everywhere you look. look. There's a heart. There's a heart. And the hand to hold, to on, hold to. on to, <laughs> and then and then and then it has that bridge, you know, like like when you're down on the on your luck, you know, when you lost out there, you're all alone. When you lost out there, you're all alone. The light is waiting to carry you home. And then it got real nasty with everywhere you look. And then it has, yeah. it even has the scat at the end. Uh, Skip it the pop, bow wow. Yeah, that shit yeah. inspired too. You know? Yeah. Damn, nine man, why don't they do theme songs like that no more? Seriously, right? Just get some niggas sneezing and some skeeter pops and <laughs> some you some scat ready yeah. to go. Yeah. Dang. Some hard in some hard in that shit. You know, <laughs> I agree. Um, uh shit. I was gonna take full house. Oh man, I'm taking them all. Let's go. 
damn, Bush is like in my head today. <laughs> you think of another, think of another, another theme song that we might remember and that we can get the lyrics to and sing. Uh, who remembers? All right, my pick, forget this is gonna be my pick. <laughs> Remember hanging with Mr. Cooper? Yes. Yeah. That <laughs> thing, that's on my Mr. list. Cooper. That theme song has some soul in it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like I'm gonna uh, pull up the lyrics. Yeah. I do remember that show. I doubt it. We got to put that on there. I used to love that show, man. I they used to say I look like Mr. Cooper too. <laughs> Was that a short show too? Know. Um, I, think, I, I feel like there's at least two seasons. Two seasons, Season, yeah. At least two. I remember it coming back at one point, so maybe two or three seasons. I remember watching that show a lot too, and I couldn't even tell you an episode. <laughs> like, right, like, five so seasons. Just, oh shit! Damn. Damn, I'm looking at the lyrics. I do not remember how this song goes. I remember loving it though. Cooper. Sometimes bad. And sometimes he acts a fool. Hanging with my man. He's also fun. Yo, oh, coach, yeah. you're on. <laughs> yeah. That was I found a man who has a PhD in personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That man you found maybe a catastrophe. It's more of a reality. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this song kind of sucks now. <laughs> yeah. The fucking B in that Cooper. Cooper. And the little actress they had singing it. She was she was she was lip singing it, but she was doing that shit. Yeah. She was singing. She Damn, was now singing I gotta go shit. listen to that, man. I forgot how that one goes. Yeah, but was, Chris kind of helped me out a little bit. I, I forget the beat though. Me too. But I just remember, yeah, dude, like, yeah, I couldn't tell you what an episode is about. But I remember like watching that show a lot. Like, mm. <laughs> oh, well. I remember they played basketball. It's the only thing I remember yeah. from that show. Yeah. Oh well, so you, J Man. <laughs> All right, let me take a look at my cheat sheet real quick. Get I know you're about picks. to take one of mine. Oh, we. All right. With my third round pick in the draft, I got to go with. I got to snipe Sir Bush. And I got to take Rescue Rangers. Ah. Such a classic, <laughs> classic song. I'm gonna pull up the lyrics right now so I can maybe do the whole thing. Some, Let's see. Some, some, I know the I know the lyrics. I love that show. And yeah, that one starts off strong too with the horns. Dun, dun, mm-hmm. dun, dun, dun. Where's my lyrics at? All right, here we go. Can you give me that intro again, uh, Bush? Sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks, but these two gum shoes are picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. When you need help, just call ch 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 no, no, it never fails once they're involved. Somehow, whatever wrong gets solved. Ch 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 Bendales. Then you hit me the rescue. Ranger. There you go. Ch 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 Bendales. When there's danger. When there's danger. <laughs> oh no, it never fails. They'll take the clues and find the where's and why's and who's. <laughs> I can't, I can't finish it. <laughs> I'm like, these are some of the lyrics? Dang. 
<laughs> yeah, those were some, those are actually some good lyrics that fit the actual uh, uh, show too. So, shout out Rescue Ranger. Hey, hey, uh, uh, not to get you off, but I I just thought about it. We got a, um, I think we both got an honorable pick. We got to bring this up right now. You already know what it is. We stand every time at Apex Legends. <clears throat> it was too. It was, oh it was oh yeah, show, no, it was about to a show. <laughs> We're crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what made me think about that. You look at caught up in the crossfire. Cross fire. Cross fire. Cross fire. Cross fire. Cross fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great. No, Very honorable mention. Damn, brilliant marketing by that team, man. Everyone's still singing yeah. that. Hey, you Definitely. know a little bit of history about that, Bush. You know, Sammy Hagar wrote that song, right? Really? <laughs> yeah, Damn, some, that is fire then. Notice. We were just like, well, it, it's only one word, technically. It's just, and then you get caught up in this, like, one line. <laughs> you just <stand laughs> differently. So what exactly did he write? <laughs> you know, like, but, I can yeah. just imagine we're going in there hungover as hell. I'm like, here you go. It's like, this just says crossfire. And he looks up, and he's already gone. It's how you say it. It's how you say it. True. <laughs> All right. So uh, with my next pick, um, man, kind of torn. Mm, man i'll probably take the other one so all right so which one do i want to sing more <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so with the fourth pick and the 90s theme song draft i gotta go with reading rainbow oh no i didn't even, oh man that's a great pick i, I love that love that like the part of the reason that i did read as a kid be, was because that song was so fucking fun to sing Butterfly in the sky. Come on, sorry, DMX I can version. go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. It's reading rainbow. I can't fly anywhere. Just take a look. It's in a book. It's reading rainbow. Whoa. That bitch got down on that rainbow part. Uh, have Have you heard the DMX version? <laughs> The mix? Yeah. Okay. That's the only yes. thing I'm thinking of. That shit is Come so on. fucking amazing. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's God bless the uh... <laughs> I Had to bring it back. I had to bring it back. <laughs> it always comes back to that. Yeah. Damn, good pick, dude. That, I didn't. I wasn't even on my radar. Thank you. Thank you. All right, C-Rock. Yeah. It's back to you, player. Yeah. All right. Little secret, y'all. I didn't, I didn't prepare for this one. Oh, sorry. I didn't prepare for this draft, so I can't think of nothing right now. All the stuff I thought of, y'all took it off the damn board. <laughs> I thought I'd at least get all of those. I was like, no way they're taking all that shit off the board. Wow, you're missing three really easy ones, too. Say by the bell. Like that I so know. You. Oh, there you go. That was <laughs> one of the ones I was talking about. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of good ones wow. out there. I forget how Say by Bell starts. The bell when I wake up in the morning and oh uh, yeah, yeah off right off top huh yeah. okay hey, you got that see rock we gotta we gotta we gotta do this one together y'all let's do this one together because uh, you want to start us off with the bell I I can't do a bell <laughs> um, I'm in Bush sorry you already did it. Did you do it, Bush? I don't remember I how I did it. I did. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, imagine, you imagine you doing that, or did he actually? Do no, it? I did. I did. I just don't. Re- I already forgot everything. Where, where am I? <laughs> Pulling up the lyrics All too. Right. All right, let me know you guys are ready. Oh, I'm ready. You guys got to. You guys got to give me the. It's all right. Okay. All right. All right, ready? One, two, three. When I wake up in the morning, morning. my alarm off a warning. Morning. I don't think I make it on time. Damn it, damn. By the time I grab my books and I give myself a look, I'm at the corner just in time to see the bus fly by. by. It's, it's all right. All right, because I'll stay by the bill. If the teachers pop a test, I know I'm in the mess. And I talk, and my dog ate all my homework last night. Damn it, damn. Damn. <laughs> riding low, riding low up in my chair. She will know if I'm in there. If I can hand it in tomorrow, it will be, be all right. right. It's, it's all right. right. Cause I'll stay by the bell. All right. Cause it's, it's so low. all right. Cause I'll stay by the bell. <laughs> uh, interesting <laughs> lesson. <laughs> Boom. Interesting um 
history about that song too. Sammy Hagar wrote that too. <laughs> no way. I, no, I'm not fucking made that. I'm about to say what the fuck. <laughs> like, that's a fucking lie. That's 100% not true. I made that up. No, nah, but <laughs> fucking iconic song. I think a lot of us 90s babies know that. Yep. And, uh, mm-hmm. Good show. Good show. All right, Bush. I definitely know one of his picks. So I get two, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you hear it. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, my pick is going to be, this is my childhood. This this is the toys that I collected. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles song. Ninja Turtles. Sir. Oh, and before you do, I was hoping you picked it, but before you do, you have to tell everybody the story about getting prank called with this song. Me? Remember that? No. You You don't remember this story? No, you have a great memory. I'm listening you told to this me, podcast. You told me you would remember this for the rest of your life, so you <laughs> lied to me. <laughs> oh, shit. When I, I, when I start telling this story, you're going to feel bad. <laughs> I probably, I'm tr- really trying to remember, and I can't. Don't worry. So I don't know what happened that day, but uh, me and uh, C-Rock might have been there, actually. Me, C-Rock, and um, a couple of our other friends, we just started prank calling random people and, and leaving Okay, mm-hmm. leaving either voicemails or when they pick up, we play like say by the bell, Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, whatever. And then the only person that picked up and listened to it was Chris. Okay, I remember. And then he posted on Facebook the next day. He's like, "Hey, look, everybody! Like, I had a really bad day. One of the shittiest days of my life yesterday. And I don't know who the hell called me in the middle of the night and played the Ninja Turtles theme song, but I'm going to remember this moment for the rest of my life. You really made like a shitty day better. And then I ended up texting you. I was like, hey, well, that was me. We caught you and did the Ninja Turtles theme song. I, then- I know. I know what it, I know what that shitty was. I, you know what I think it was? I had broke up with my girlfriend. I think this was pre-Sarah. It's definitely pre-Sarah. Yeah. I think yeah. I broke. I think, yeah, I think my girlfriend broke up with me at that time. I think, and then I got that call. You called like at like three in the morning or something. Yeah. Like really, yeah. You're the okay. only one that picked up. Everyone else. <laughs> Cause I was fucking probably crying it. and fucking <laughs> being emo, listening to my emo music. And and then like, I remember, I forget who it was, but they're like, they're like, wait, like it says like two minutes on the call. He's, he, he's listening to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song, man. And then we all started laughing and then we hung up because like we were laughing so loud because everyone else, like we left the voice bell, but you actually picked up the phone and we're like, hello. And then you hear the Ninja Turtles theme song. And you sat there and listened to the whole theme song. <laughs> I do remember now. Yeah, <laughs> I remember now. I'm- so he lied to me. I thought he was going to remember this moment for the rest of his life. It's because I moved on from it. her, man. All right. Fair enough. That's a great one. <laughs> Great that explanation. Is a good one. That is a good, I do remember that now. You called me really, really late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. See, and and then that was just thinking too when you were talking to Sea Rock. You knew the name of his Pokemon. I was like, who remembers that? This dude has some good memory. <laughs> he used to name all his char- characters Krusty Nuts back then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just carried on his tradition. <laughs> He thought that shit was so funny. He was just, hey, man, look at my Charmeleon's name. <laughs> <laughs> he was so proud of that Krusty Nuts name. <laughs> I was so boring. I just left him the same. I just left him as Pikachu and Charizard. I never changed the names. I named him, like, stupid, silly names. Like, Bubba's where I would put, like, um, Fat Leaf, Fat Leaf Dog or something. <laughs> like, just silly dog. names, what they look like. Like, Cubone, I used to name him, like... Charmander with no fire, like just dumb Ooh. stuff. Oh, good old Q Bone, the saddest Pokemon story. <laughs> wait, wait, Ninja Turtles playing? Can I say it? Oh yeah, my bad. I oh. got a little carried oh, away yeah. with that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? A guitar that comes in? It's just like, bang. Yeah. right? It just like bursts yeah, yeah, in yeah, or right, something. Right. We're talking about the we're talking about the eighties Ninja Turtles song. The mm-hmm. cards. Right. Yeah, the cart the cartoon one with the repeat <clears throat> lyrics Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles over and yeah, over again. But uh well we don't know. There's been like five or five or six seven. Can I can I hit you with the ad libs? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, big guitar comes in. Oh man, I'm just gonna have to say the same word over and over again. Teenage mutant ninja turtles, teenage mutant ninja turtles, teenage mutant ninja turtles, heroes in a half shell, turtle power. Wait, now I forgot the words. They're, they're, they're the most fearsome fighting they're team. The mm-hmm. They're heroes in they're a half shell, and they're, they're green. green. <laughs> when the ninja We're force really attacks, hit. 
Oh yeah, there you go. Evil Shredder attack. Damn, there is a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja lyrics. I'm trying to like Google it real quick. Splinter taught them to be. Was it Ninja Teams? Teams. He's a radical rat. <laughs> Leonardo <laughs> leads Donatello does machines. That's a fact, Jack. Raphael's cool but rude. Give me a break. Me Michelangelo break. is a party dude. Party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll remember. There we go. Yeah, I still collect Ninja Turtle toys. Mm-hmm. I have a, a I have a shit. a toy because I also liked Ghostbusters, and it's a uh, Donatello uh, Ghostbusters like combined like action figure. It's my favorite one. Yeah, I remember those. I remember those. Yeah, yeah. Nice. we're trying to be alive. Mm-hmm. All right, so that was uh, was that? Did you do two or one? Oh, that was one. Uh, oh, Rescue Rangers okay. was my five. Mm. I'm gonna have to go. I don't want to do another TJF because now that's on there. I did my TJF. I might go a little different here. I'm gonna go Doug. I love Doug. I'm gonna have to pick a Nickelodeon show, and that was my favorite Nickelodeon mm-hmm. show, Doug. <laughs> that one had some sketch. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, no I think lyrics. they did that before before every scene, right? I feel like they did that a lot. Yeah, that was like their stinger transitions was uh-huh. <laughs> and then Skeeter. Hey Doug. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great impression. Yeah. What do you want, Skeet face? <laughs> I, Roger I, love, I've, I, love, I said that on our other podcast. I just love saying that to people. <laughs> I mean, you skeet now. I mean, <laughs> oh, skeet, 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 skeet. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think I, I just remember that was like my Nickelodeon show. That and like uh, Rugrats. But I love Doug. Mm-hmm. That's my sleeper pick. That's my homer pick. Into the grab them. Very cool. All right. It's so your last like pick, Sea Rock. All right, I'm going to go with. Hmm, I am going to go with. Damn, I just thought about it. All right, you know, now I'm gonna do an honorable mention with this one. I'm a. Um... You can't do an honorable mention before your last pick. <laughs> no, I, the one I was going to pick. Oh, oh okay. Mention, I don't think it it deserves. Hmm. I'm gonna go marry with children. I don't remember that one. No. Love mm-hmm. and Mary, oh yeah, love okay. Mary. I remember now. That was a pretty good one. Good pick. Goes together like a horse and carriage. My uh things died. Uh-uh. Oh no. Oh no. Excuse not to sing. Technical difficulties, y'all. Cut, cut, uh, cut, 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 cut. I'm back. <laughs> back in the game, baby. Yeah. I mean everybody can still hear me. I guess I wasn't on. Yeah, I'm going with Mary with Children. Probably my, f- it's in my top five favorite shows of the '90s. It definitely couldn't get made today, probably for good reasons. But you know, mm-hmm. it, was, it was it was just seven seasons of fat jokes. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, relentless fat jokes. So I get it. But good show, good show. My honorable mention, but it's not a '90s show. But we all know this theme song. Because when this theme song came on, you know you stayed up too goddamn late and it was time to go to bed on a weeknight. And we all know mm-hmm. this what this theme song I'm talking about. It's theme song to MASH. That was actually a 70s show. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I actually thought about that. I was like, MASH. And I was like, no, that's an old ass fucking show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was like, it has to be an honorable mention, but it can be getting it put in the 90s because it was still I- iconic for our time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I never watched up. an episode, but yeah, if like someone played yeah. it, I'd be like, that's MASH. 
<laughs> yeah, but I don't know, didn't even know what that song that show was about, but just like they said, if that shit came on on a weeknight, you're watching TV, you're like, oh shit, I stayed up too late. <laughs> like, uh, it was a hit show in the day, I guess. I don't that, know. That yeah. theme song automatically made me change the channel. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want any parts of MASH. <laughs> like, oops. <laughs> you know, good shit, though. That's my honorable mention. Let's tell you, Jamie. All right. Uh man, with the last pick and the '90s theme songs draft, I gotta go with Darkwing Duck. Yeah, and I do I not. I can't remember the, the theme song. I can't remember the theme so I'm pulling song. It I, it I just like. know. Let's get dangerous. dangerous. Darkwing Duck. This mm-hmm. is trouble. You call DW. Now I remember it. All right, got the lyrics up. All right, go ahead and sing that bitch. <clears throat> Damn, I can't get the beat. It's Me like uh, it's like a drum, like and it just starts. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Daring duck of mystery, champion of the night, swoops out of the shadows. Dark wing owns the night. Somewhere where villain schemes. But his number's up. Three, two, Dark one. Wing. Darkwing Duck. When <laughs> there's trouble, you call DW. Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck. Darkwing, Darkwing Duck. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know how the second verse goes. It's almost the same, Ellie. Really. Cloud of smoke and he mm-hmm. appears. The master of surprise. Who's that cunning mind? Behind the shadowy disguise, nobody knows for sure. But bad guys are out of luck. <laughs> dark wing <laughs> duck. When there's trouble, you call DW. Dark wing duck. Let's get dangerous. End it right there. I just want to say, let's get dangerous. Best line. I didn't even know there was. I didn't even know there was a second verse to that song. So. <laughs> yeah. there's that there's that just to be honest i never heard the second verse but he did a good here man thank you thank you and then uh my honorable pick is gonna go to x files <laughs> that song is amazing Dude. i just i just felt like singing that's actually my top five like i don't know how they did it that song is still creepy to these days like mm-hmm. but you also can't turn it off it's just mm-hmm. whoever came up with that song is a fucking genius. It's just yes. classic, timeless, and you can use it for almost anything now. See yeah. it on TikTok all the time. Every something, every time something weird's going on, you know yeah. they put the X Files music. <laughs> it's a classic. There's, so there's people using that who never even watched the show, don't even know mm-hmm. yeah. what the X Files are. <laughs> you know, like that's and just then crazy. I got, Two more honorable mentions, but I'm gonna let you guys go first. I don't want to steal thunder. All right. Uh, I oh, I, I got three. I, I have one. I guess I could group. It's probably on your list. Um, but it, all the uh, I'd say superhero shows: X Men, Batman, Spider Man. They Ooh. all had theme mm-hmm. songs that absolutely slapped. Especially X. Agreed. Yeah, especially X Men and Spider Man. Yep. Have you guys heard the Batman one? Animated series one? That yes. one's a little bit okay. That one is I mean, they're all great. Mm-hmm. That one slaps. And you know what I found out about that Batman animated series show? Remember right. how they had that Batman show on channel five that came on after Superman, but it was shit. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's how shit it was. We don't remember <laughs> it. That was the that was the same show. They just redid it completely total totally different, but channel five or uh WB bought the rights from who from Fox and that was supposed to be the same show but I'm like dude it's a totally different show it's like they just so like when you look at the show like on Wikipedia it says it ran from like 93 to like 99 but I was like I don't remember that show running that long but then it was Mm -hmm. like it got bought up and then put on channel five after the Superman show which was good but I remember that Batman show coming on but I remember turning it because it was horrible but that was the same show. Mm, I had yeah. no idea. Yep. All right. I have I have a sleeper one. That'll be my last honorable mention. You guys know the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh. 
I like that show, but I don't I don't remember the, the theme song. The theme song is great. Google write it down, Google it. It's a great song. It's got a great ending. It's a super powerful ending. Great theme right, song. I'll check it out. Mm-hmm. I better I better not look it up and get Rick Roll or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. All right. So Wait, my yeah. other honorable mentions is Martin. Or they just mm. say Martin's name Martin. over and over. Yeah. Martin. 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 <laughs> Martin. 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 Oh, you're so crazy. <laughs> and then yeah, sure. <laughs> my last honorable mention is Carmen San Diego. Ooh. Well, yeah. on earth is Carmen, Carmen San Diego. I don't remember mm-hmm. any of the words. I just remember. Where in the world is Carmen, Carmen San, San Diego? Diego. That was just... What's that group? Those group called. That's all I remember. That was a good That was a good one. And that show was so fucking hard because I used to watch that religiously. I only seen like two people win at the end. Mm-hmm. But they got to go across the map and, you know, figure out what country they're calling. I was like, that shit was way too fucking hard for kids. <laughs> Those <laughs> motherfuckers could never pass. I used to be so happy when I actually do see episode and they were able to solve the, you know, the final questions and shit. And I was like, God damn, that bitch really is hard to find. I only see two niggas find her before. <laughs> <laughs> she, she real? Yeah. <laughs> I remember playing it like on the computer in school, and yeah, that shit was hard, dude. Like it was just asking mm-hmm. you all this, this weird shit about countries. Like you expect a third grader to know this shit, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I what got about you, C Rock? You got any? Nah, only yeah. uh, only one I brought up. I guess I had to bring up Mash, uh, and just the wrestling theme songs of the '90s too, actually. You know, too bad. The Stone Cold Steve Austin, DX, The Nation mm-hmm. of Domination, The Rock, all those classics. Yep. Yes, yeah, so that's that's it for me. All right, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up. Uh, I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Sir Bushi Boo for joining us and uh, complete the draft with us. Definitely. A lot more fun with three people instead of just me and C-Rod going back and forth. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we appreciate it. And uh, once again, uh, he is on YouTube. If you want to check out his game clips, you know, like and subscribe. Uh, it's under Bushi Boo. Uh, yeah. thanks, for, thanks for having me on, guys. Appreciate it. It was fun. 90s is my jam, too. So yeah. it, it was mm-hmm. tough. Theme songs were tough for me, but it was great. Yeah. Had fun. Yeah, you help you help come up with these topics uh, for us. So thanks for the help with that. It's like we definitely got to have you on since you're helping out with the ideas. So that was some great great ideas, and that was really fun, man. Really brought back some memories. Yeah. I've been saying the Pokemon Pokemon theme song with so much passion since I was like 15, 16 years old. <laughs> so I, that was I'll really add, fun. I'll add a side story, and it kind of goes to both. When I was thinking of my list for like the the girls. I was like, oh, Misty was cute in Pokemon. And I Googled her age and I was like, never mind. I'll just leave that one out. <laughs> yeah, she was. I was like, what never was she, mind. 13, 14? Oh, Ninja. I, no, no, no. <laughs> How old was she? <laughs> She's supposed to be 10. Jesus. Oh, she was I, not a 10 year old. Ash, Ash and her are supposed to be like 10. I, that's what it said. Oh, my gosh. And Brock was ridiculous. like 12 or 14 or something. Yeah. Brock's horny oldest. ass was 12. He wanted to fuck every single girl in the fucking anime. Bring it back. Whoever came it back. up with that show was really bad. Really bad at doing ages. I, I th- thought I was like, oh, you know, probably 16 or something. I like, Googled it and I was like, I'm just not going to bring this up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's, that's not really your fault. That's, you that's, yeah. that's, that's, re- that's very bad marketing. I was just the- reaching. Like Brock was a grown man that was trying to have sexual intercourse with <laughs> every woman on the show, and he's twelve. Come on, he had a deeper. Come on, he had a deeper voice than me at the time. I was seventeen and shit. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, dude, I don't know who made who. I don't know some weird out there. <laughs> but yeah. All right, so uh, I guess we're going go ahead and start getting out of here. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the Rose with Friends podcast. Uh, once again, thank you, Bushy Boo, for coming on and joining us. Uh, thank you to my co-host, C-Rock, and anybody yeah. uh, 
Got any 90s nostalgia or something y'all want to say on the way out? Calbunga. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, as we go on. All right, go ahead, Zero. Yeah. Can't think of anything right now. Uh, oh, one like more that. honorable mention. We mentioned it like three times, but we didn't sing it or really like put into the light of Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. Come on, y'all. None of us really bring up Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters kind of eighties, huh? Eh, we watched it in the nineties, though. I did, yeah. yeah. That's why I didn't pick it because Ghostbusters was my that was my jam. Mm-hmm. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. When something strange in the neighborhood. Ugh. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. That's a that's a hit. Yeah, I just watched it in the eighties, man. I watched that in the night, and then they had the new Ghostbusters. So I mean, that was nineties for sure. Yeah. So and they had the same thing song, right? They didn't change it. I don't think so. No. That just brings me back to my our partying days. Remember with that a super fat uh, Mr. Fab song. Oh man, I remember do? that name, but I can't Yo, hear Smarty. the song. Oh yeah, I remember now. That song went hard. Oh yeah, and any anybody that doesn't know, man, uh Bush used to throw the funnest, most wild parties back in parties. the day. Oh man, him and his him and his boys, man. Them white boys know how to party. I would and, throw uh, always parties, kickbacks almost every yeah. weekend. <laughs> and then, remember uh the, I'll just, let me just I got say you. Stuff, stuff to real quick that I'll, I'll let you take it from there. I, I'll let everybody know, like, him and his friends, they're like the, the cool white boys, not the really weird ones that, like, you fall asleep and they stick a carrot up your ass, like, nothing nothing mm-hmm. too crazy. I mean, yeah. at least when I was there, so. <laughs> Shout out to Bush and all his companions. Yeah, we had so much fun. Got so drunk at his party. Remember when I, uh, I got, remember, uh. That was one of the stories we told. Remember when I got drunk at one of his parties and I kept calling that girl motorcycle? Because she had <laughs> that was at a bush party. And then remember when I got drunk and then I walked that, that other dude's girl to work to his car. Yeah, <laughs> I remember I that too. This, yeah, I was you just, uh, you just showed up to all of his parties and just acted like an asshole. And he still hey, I was trying over. to, I was no, trying to fit, be nice. He fit in, man. That's all my friends are. It's a bunch of assholes just being assholes. <laughs> hey. I wasn't trying to be an asshole. Like I was, <laughs> she was like, "I'm gonna leave." I was like, "Want me to walk into your car?" She was like, "Yeah." I was like, "I didn't know she had." I, I seriously talked to her for probably like an hour and a half. She never mentioned she had a boyfriend, nor did he. So, my my heart was Damn. in the right place. So, Fair enough. You should have watched. I wasn't <laughs> trying to be an asshole that day. That with the motors <laughs> with the motorcycle thing, I don't remember my intentions, but uh, I had to be re- I had to be reminded of that. I wish I knew who that girl was, so we can get her point of view. But I don't even remember which girl it was. I just it was um oh my god I can't remember. It was Bush's friend's wife's friend. She brought her. He has a lot oh. of those. <laughs> yeah, that's that's narrowing it down. What's why am I forgetting this dude's name? He was at every single fucking party. I just can't remember who's. Who was married and used to party with you a lot, Bush? He was married. He was married, or he would say he was married. He had a he had a wife. She was sort of short. She had dark hair. Or a girlfriend at the time, white girl, of course. Um, girlfriend at the time, my my buddy Cole Flesh was usually always the one with girlfriends, but I don't think anyone was married at that yeah, time. He, he was in. A, they were in a relationship, but um, yeah, it was her friend. She had blonde hair. She was at um. Remember the time when you rented out the club? Okay, yeah, yeah. She was there too. That's when she reminded me of that shit. And um, okay. the other girls there too. And um, yeah, I remember taking pic like we took a picture of them because she came to the uh, club and she just was talking to me like she knew me. Are you thinking Joanna? Like, oh. You might be thinking Joanna. Probably. Probably that sounds like familiar. Like I didn't interact with her all that much, but I interacted with her because you know she was with your homeboys. And um, there was a blonde hair girl who she would bring with her sometimes, and that was when I was calling motorcycle. <laughs> I, <don't know> <laughs> I think it's Joanna. I don't, I don't know why, but I was. Uh, uh, or I do know why. Yeah, I, I get the I get the context. <laughs> that time, that time, <laughs> that time. But yeah, that was funny. That was some good stuff. Yeah, that was some good times. Hey, demonic masculinity, y'all. Hey, we all grow <laughs> up. We're not assholes forever. We all grow up, ladies. So you got to give us some time. 
Yeah, yeah. We were assholes uh, to each other, okay? Not to the yeah. least. You were you were never an asshole, dude. I don't remember you or any of your friends being an asshole. Yeah, like, we just goofed ever. off. Yeah, we just like yeah, messed we, around. we had fun. Yeah. You guys weren't like like yeah, like obnoxious people. That's why I like I always like coming around. We just mm-hmm. had fun. Like and just it got wild and we got fucking drunk and did dumb shit. I remember yeah. uh at one of the parties, my friends and I I mean, we're we're into girls, but this is the asshole part. We go in the kitchen and we just looked in this person's cabinets. We found spam. We sprayed it on the kitchen floor and we just watched people walk by and slip. That's all we did at the party. Just people were like, oh! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and how dangerous on that spam is. sounds yeah. crazy. <laughs> you guys, Stupid right, yeah, you, stuff. You, just dumb you, stuff. You guys are kind of that. So. Yeah. We were at the Jesus Juice party. Whoever's house that was, we drank the Clifford Juices, Jayla. Uh, that was one of our coworkers. Yeah, Tammy I forget or his name. The Jesus Juice. Yeah, the Jesus Juice party. I think it was in Chino or something. One of those guys from Oregon that was in sales, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, Mexican yeah. dude. Yeah, I have no idea where that. I have no idea how that house, where that house was at, what location we were in. Nothing. Mm-hmm. I just know I made it rain Orkin bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Orkin bucks. <bullets>, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, dude. Good times. I, I was the drunkest I probably got. I had to go to work the next day, just throwing up all day. <laughs> like this shit sucks. But times. it was great. Yeah. Definitely. Good show. All right, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up. Uh, thanks again, Bushy Boo, for joining us. Thank you, C Rock, for the cool stories and being an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, th- <laughs> thanks for tuning in to the Roast with Friends podcast. Shout out Krusty Nuts. And uh, <laughs> and we gone. Later. <laughs> Bye.